Hello and welcome to Data Games. This is a teacher video for the game called Markov. By now you should have watched the two student videos and played the game a few times so you know the mechanics of the game and know about the graph we expect students to use. In this video we'll explore some pedagogical issues and talk about the math. In this game we want students to learn to use multiple representations, multiple perspectives on the data to know what's going on. We also think Markov is a great way to give kids experience with conditional probability without burdening them with a whole bunch of awful formulas. Here we have a game in progress, and we're going to want to have students figure out things for themselves as much as possible. We don't want to tell them the answers. Instead, we want to ask some great questions. Suppose we're just looking at the game, not the graph. If we ask, what do you think is Markov's next move? we're really asking what's the pattern that you see in these moves, in these colors. There are a lot of elements to this pattern that kids can describe informally. For example, usually the colors come in pairs. Usually rock follows scissors and so forth. A student might see these two papers at the end. Notice that scissors has always followed paper and say, I think Markov's going to do scissors next. That's a reasonable way to do the prediction. Get kids to describe that. Now, some students at this point will want to click scissors. And you might have to remind them, oh, you think Markov's going to do scissors? What should you do? And they'll say, oh, rock smashes scissors, so I'm going to click rock. And I actually moved up. I won the round. So students can use the strip in order to predict what Markov is going to do next. But it can be really hard figuring this out every time. So let's look at the graph and see what it says. The students may never have seen a graph like this before, so it's a great challenge to have them figure out how to use it. You could ask, what does this graph mean? What does the graph show you? They have a bunch of hints, such as the names of the attributes, previous to Markov moves and Markov's move. Another thing they can do in order to understand the graph is to coordinate it with the table. For example, if I select the most recent move in the table, I can see where the point is in the graph. Markov's previous two moves were two papers, and in the graph they see the selected point is in the two papers column. His last move was scissors, just like we predicted. So now you can ask students, instead of using the strip, how can you use the graph to figure out what Markov's next move is? Markov's just done paper scissors, and here's the column for paper scissors. In the past, when Markov has done paper scissors, he's usually, but not always, done scissors. It's 60% of the time. The dots in the column show conditional probability in a context students can understand. The student can reason that Markov will probably choose scissors. So if they choose rock, they'll probably win. By the way, notice that this graph gets more accurate the more data you have. It accumulates Markov's strategy from game to game, whether you win or lose, as long as you don't clear the data. Other levels in Markov are just different Markov schemes. Of course, you clear data when you start a new level, or the probabilities will get all muddled. Kids get pretty good at this game. Fairly quickly, they get to a point where deciding on a move is really tedious. That will propel them into devising strategies, as explained in the second student video. But what about a situation where the graph doesn't give a clear answer? Here, we see that scissors, scissors, and paper, paper are obvious. But what about scissors, rock? It's tied two to two. In that case, you might just pick one, but you can change the weight to give that choice. I'll drag this over to Scissors Scissors. Now, if I win on Scissors Scissors, I'll go up three steps, and if I lose on Scissors Rock, I'll only go down one. That should give you enough to go on. Good luck!